The story follows Liloch v. Britannia, exiled prince of Britannia, who is living under the identity Liloch Lamperuge. His former identity was declared dead seven years ago when Britannia conquered Japan, now renamed Area 11. In the present, Liloch is trapped inside an anti-government rebel truck as it flees from the Britannian military after stealing a container of poison gas. During the pursuit, Lelich is reunited with his Japanese friend, Suzuku Kuraruji, who is part of the military. The container opens and reveals a girl with green hair causing Suzuku's superior to issue an execution order on all witnesses. Suzuku refuses and is shot while Lelich flees with the girl. Cornered by the military, the girl gives Lelich a power called GS before dying. With it, Lelich commands his attackers to kill themselves. Lelich is questioned by Valletta Nu about the dead soldiers. Using Jis, he orders her to give him her Nightmare Frame, a giant mechanical robot. Lilich then leads the terrorist group to combat Viceroy Clovis La Britannia's army, forcing them to utilize the experimental Nightmare Frame Lancelot piloted by Suzuku. The Lancelot defeats the rebel group while Lilich holds Clovis at gunpoint and orders him to withdraw his army. Having reason to suspect the death of Marianne V. Britannia, his mother, was planned by one of his relatives. Lilich questions Clovis about her murder before killing him. He returns to Ashford Academy and realizes his classmate, Callan Statfeld, is part of the resistance group. Using Jis, he learns about her motivations for joining the terrorist group and discovers Jis only works once per person. Callan suspects Lelich's involvement in the previous battle but is fooled when Lelich prepares a pre-recorded phone call. Soon after, the news announces Suzuku has been arrested for Clovis murder and is to be tried. Jeremiah Gottwald and the pure blood faction within the Britannian army wish to scapegoat Suzuku for Clovis' death as an excuse to rid the army of honorary Britannians, citizens who become Britannians after their country had been conquered. Lelich dons the pseudonym Zero and with the help of Kalan and Kanein Ogi, uses GS on Jeremiah allowing them to escape with Suzaku. As Zero, Lelich asks Suzaku to join him to rebel against Britannia. Suzaku refuses, believing Britannia should be changed with legal means and departs for his trial. Lelich is reunited with the green-haired girl who introduces herself as CC and is now living in his residence. Meanwhile, since Zero revealed he was Clovis' murderer, Suzuku has been acquitted of all charges and meets Princess Euphemia Lee Britannia. Euphemia has Suzuku guide her around Japan, including the war-torn city of Shinjuku. There, the two intervene with the Pure Blood faction's murder attempt on Jeremiah for his betrayal. Later, Cornelia Lee Britannia arrives to the country, intent on capturing Zero. Suzaku transfers into Liloch's class and faces the prejudice of the Britannian students. Arthur, a stray cat, enters Liloch's room and steals his Zero mask. Millie Ashford, believing Arthur has something that embarrasses Liloch, has the whole school pursue the cat with a bounty. When Suzaku catches up to the cat on the roof, Lelich intentionally slips, distracting Suzaku and forcing him to save him. Lelich secretly retrieves the mask and Suzaku's heroic save allows some of the students to accept him. The students attend an assembly where Charles Z. Britannia, Emperor and Lelich's father, delivers a speech during Prince Clovis' funeral. Lelich reminisces about his last meeting with his father. Shortly after his mother's death, Lelich questions Charles about it and is exiled to Japan along with his sister Nunley V. Britannia. Cornelia issues a challenge to Zero at Saitama Ghetto. Lelich accepts and infiltrates a soldier's nightmare while giving orders to the Saitama rebels. The rebels disobey Lelich's orders and are defeated. Cornelia, Having anticipated that Zero would disguise himself as one of her soldiers, prepares an inspection. Lelich is saved when CC, disguised as Zero, distracts the Britannian army, allowing him to escape. Lelich blames his defeat on the undisciplined rebels and resolves to build his own army. A rogue faction of the Japan Liberation Force, a resistance group made up of remnants of the Japanese military, takes a hotel and its occupants hostage, including Lelich's friends and a disguised Euphemia. As such, Cornelia cannot make a move against the hostage takers, which Lelich realizes and takes advantage of. He mounts a rescue operation with Ogi's resistance cell, and as he speaks with the hostage takers, Suzaku sinks the floating hotel using the Lancelot. However, Lelich derails any rescue efforts by the army so he can take credit for the rescue. Broadcasting publicly to the nation, he announces the creation of the Black Knights, allies of justice who will protect the weak from those with power. The Black Knights have been destroying drug cartels, which have been manufacturing refrain, 
a drug that lets a person relive their happiest memories with severe side effects. The drug is popular with the depressed Japanese, which is why the Black Knights are targeting it. Callan's background is explored, revealing her Japanese mother is working as a maid for her Britannian father and Colin's disdain for the abuse her mother receives. During the Black Knight's drug raid, Callan's mother is revealed to be a refrain user and is arrested. While Callan's mother recovers from the drugs, Callan promises she will change the world for her. Cornelia and the Britannian army heads to Narita, hoping to destroy the remnants of the Japan Liberation Front. Lelich has his knights follow her in the hope of capturing her alive so he can question her about his mother's death. As the Britannian forces close in on the front's headquarters, Callan utilizes her new nightmare frame, the Guren Mik II, to cause a massive landslide that takes out much of the Britannian forces. The Black Knight's assault on the Britannian army in Narita proves successful, and Cornelia is cornered by Callan and Lilich. At Euphemia's request, Suzaku rushes onto the battlefield in the Lancelot to rescue Cornelia. He saves her and manages to corner Lilich. CC comes to his rescue by using her powers to mentally traumatize Suzaku. The Black Knights retreat from the conflict, leaving the Japan Liberation Front and the Britannian Army to fight among themselves. Zero and core members of the Black Knights meet with Teizo Kirihara, one of the most powerful people in the Japanese underground and an acquaintance of Liloch from his younger days at the Kururuji Shrine. Lelich deftly displays his tactical prowess and wit before Teizo, revealing his true identity to the man to gain his trust and support. When Lelich returns to Tokyo, Shirley Finette informs him of her father's death, indirectly caused by Zero during the Battle of Narita. Callan and Liloch separately reflect upon the deaths of innocents in the Narita campaign, with both vowing to press on. Valletta questions Shirley on Liloch's involvement with the Black Knights coaxing her to secretly follow Liloch. There she witnesses the battle between the Japan Liberation Front and the Britannian Army. Lelich detonates the Japan Liberation Front freighter as the Britannian nightmares begin to board it, killing all personnel on board and giving the Black Knights the element of surprise. Suzaku attacks Lelich, forcing him to eject and crash lands near Shirley. She prepares to kill him to avenge her father, but hesitates when his mask falls off, revealing his identity to her. Lelich believes Shirley may have discovered his identity as Zero, so he and CC pursue her to Narita. Ogi explores the battlefield of the previous night, discovering a wounded Valletta left for dead out of sight. Lelich encounters Mao, a young man who uses his Jeez mind reading abilities to play on Shirley's insecurities, manipulating her into shooting Lelage. Shirley falters at the last moment, and CC sends Mao away temporarily. With Shirley torn apart by grief and guilt, Lelich uses his Jeez to erase her memories of him. CC explains her history with Mao and how his inability to turn his Jeez off drove him insane. An injured Valletta wakes up in Ogi's apartment, and he discovers she has selective amnesia. CC leads Lilich to take care of Mao herself, but Mao gains the upper hand when he incapacitates her. Lilich utilizes his intellect to fool Mao and rescue CC using the Britannian police to surround and shoot Mao. Safe on a rooftop away from the scene, Lelich reaffirms his contract with her, promising not to fall victim to his power as Mao did. CC departs as a messenger to the Chinese Federation and Millie has a marriage interview with Lloyd Esplund, creator of the Lancelot. Mao returns to kidnap Nunnally and holds her hostage in the Ashford Academy sewers. Lilich and Suzaku work together to rescue her, with Suzaku's physical adeptness and the clever use of Lilich's Jeez proving to be beyond Mao's planning. Before he can be arrested, Mao reveals that Suzaku killed his own father, in return, Lelich silences Mao with his Jis and CC returns and kills Mao. An inauguration ceremony of Clovis Memorial Art Museum is held, with Euphemia judging the artworks. Lelich agrees to help Kyoshiro Toto's comrades rescue their leader. During the rescue mission, Lelich convinces Toto to join the Black Knight. The Lancelot appears and attempts to stop them, but Lelich is able to predict its movements and plan a counterattack. The Lancelot's cockpit is damaged, revealing Suzaku within. Lelich is shocked and orders an immediate retreat as reinforcements arrive. At the museum, Suzaku is scorned by the Britannians due to his nationality. In return, Euphemia announces to have Suzaku instated as her knight. As Euphemia knights Suzaku, Lelich establishes the hierarchy of the Black Knights. Dethard Reed suggests assassinating Suzaku but Lelich has other plans for him. He launches an operation to capture Suzuku and the Lancelot at a Britannia military base on Shakin Island. It almost succeeds, but Schneezel El Britannia appears and orders his floating battleship, the Avalon, to bombard the island, intending to sacrifice Suzuku in order to kill Zero. The aftermath of the Avalon's arrival inexplicably leaves Lelich, Euphemia, Kallen, and Suzaku on the mysterious Kimin Island. Suzaku encounters Kallen, 
and learns she is a black knight and the pilot of the Girin, while Euphemia is found by Zero, confirming her suspicions that he is Lelouch. Meanwhile, Schneisel, Lloyd, and Kaisel Krumi survey the island's ancient ruins. When Lilich, Kalan, Suzaku, and Euphemia suddenly fall into the ruins, Lilich and Kalan steals the nightmare frame Gawain to escape. As Suzaku is detained for insubordination, it is revealed that Lilich used Jius on Suzaku, giving him the command to live, through which he prioritized his own survival over Zero's capture. Elsewhere, the exiled Japanese government from seven years ago launches a full-scale assault on Kyushu with the help of the Chinese Federation. The Britannian army fights back against the Kyushu invaders with the Lancelot. Meanwhile, Nana meets Princess Euphemia and inadvertently gives Euphemia peace of mind about her feelings for Suzaku. As Suzaku becomes cornered when his Lancelot's power runs out, Zero and CC fly into the battlefield in the Gawain to recharge the Lancelot. The two nightmares end the Kyushu campaign together. The Ashford Academy holds their annual school festival. Ogi, Valletta, Euphemia, and Callan all make their separate ways to the event, and a series of close encounters risks the revealing of their hidden identities. When Euphemia's presence is revealed, mass panic ensues. On live television, she announces her plan to turn the area around Mount Fuji to become a specially administrated zone of Japan, S.A. Zoj, where Elevens can be referred to as Japanese again. She believes this will bring back the happy days with Lilich and Nunnally, but Lilich thinks otherwise, knowing she is being naive. During the commemoration ceremony for the S.A. Zoj, Lilich and Euphemia privately discuss Japan's future. She convinces him and Lilich summarily halts his rebellion until he suddenly loses control of his Jius while jokingly telling her to kill all the Japanese. The Jis influenced Euphemia orders a massacre of the people attending the ceremony. Blaming himself, a resolute Leloch decides to salvage the situation by declaring Euphemia's S.A. Zoje a trap to lure out the Black Knights and commands his troops to defeat the Britannian forces, protect the Japanese, and to kill Euphemia. After locating Euphemia, Lelich shoots and mortally wounds her. Suzaku witnesses the shooting and brings Euphemia to the Avalon for emergency treatment. Euphemia fights off the Jis and has a last talk with Suzaku before dying. While Suzaku mourns over her death, Vivi introduces himself and explains why Euphemia caused the massacre. Meanwhile, Zero announces his plan to overthrow Britannia and to create a new country called the United States of Japan. Soon, the entirety of Area 11 revolts against the Britannian Empire and the Black Knights advance towards the Tokyo settlement. The Black Knights are able to push the Britannian army back and use Ashford Academy as their headquarters. Lilich and Sisi battle against Suzaku and are able to lure him into a trap which drains his Lancelot's power. Valletta regains her memories and shoots Ogi. Lilich confronts Cornelia and has the Jis influenced Andreas Darleton incapacitate Cornelia's nightmare. Meanwhile, Nunnally is visited by Vivi, who intends to take her away. Lelij uses Jis on Cornelia and discovers she does not know who killed his mother. Cece senses that Nunnally has been taken to Kameen Island and Lelij abandons the Black Knights to rescue her. There, Cece stays behind to stall Jeremia, while Lelij is confronted by Suzaku. While Callan watches on, Suzaku shoots Lelij's mask, revealing his identity to the two of them. Lelij pleads with Suzaku to help him save Nunnally, but is rebuffed off-screen.